Hello again, everyone. I have just bought this copy of, Lu of Creative Stamping with Lou's set of fabulous stamps and stencils. I just, I just love these things. Um, I was the magazine itself has got you know examples of what you can do with the stamps, the various stamps, and lo loads and loads of ideas. But this is what interests me because I, I like putting my own sort of touch on on things. This set of stamps made me think of of um, when I go to a restaurant. Whenever the waiter comes around, we've been you know for a bunch of people and we've been choosing what we want. The waiter goes around asking people what they would like and somebody says, I'll have such and such a thing. And I swear, I've not seen it on the menu. <laughs> and that's what happens with this. Um, I kept looking and I, I keep spotting things I, I didn't know were there. And in the, in the magazine, I saw some things and I thought, well, that's not on that sheet, is it? And sure enough, there it is. So it's got loads. It's got little bits of sentiment. It's got bits that will do for backgrounds and it's got things that you can cut out the the um these stencils are fabulous typography if that's how you say it typography not sure um it's got stencils that match some of these butterflies it's got a few splats it's got this dragonfly more splats there that looks like a like you know a drink or something's been put down on it doesn't it so it's just just fabulous so what I thought I would do today is do, or try to, one of my kind of mixed media type cards. And the colours I've chosen today are pink and grey. Don't know why I chose pink and grey, but I just thought I'd have a go. And I've got a 5x7 panel. It isn't actually five by seven, it's four or five by seven cards, so it is marginally smaller. So I just want to use some of these things. I'd like to use this big old typewriter as a feature in the corner, but I want to build up a bit of bits and pieces around it or behind it first. So I'm going to start, first of all, I think, with a bit of colour. So, no, before I do that, what I want to do is to make a little bit of ephemera to stick on. And I want to use the inside of the paper napkin that I used the outside of, the design side of, for yesterday's card. So I want to use a bit of this. And I'm going to stamp some of these bits and bobs on it with this versifying clair in morning mist, a deepish grey. So I will first of all just get a piece off here. Let me get the water. Here's my water. Right, I just want to do a bit, so I'm just going to take a bit off here. This is how I rip my tissue. There we go. So I've got a piece that should be plenty large enough for the bits that I want to make. So I've just cut myself a new Mylar little palette thing. So I'm going to stamp over this with Versafine Claire. Now, what shall we have? I would like, well, I'm going to just use a bunch of these things really, just them all over the place. What will this fit on? This will fit on this little one, I think. Okay, let's try this. Doesn't look like much is going on. I think it must be. Let's just see. Oh, it's the other way up. Is it? It's hard to tell. I don't think it matters really. I'll do, I'll do another bit somewhere. I love this kind of thing. Absolutely. Look at that jaggedy edge. Isn't it lovely? Just fabulous. Right, let's just put this one over here somewhere. That's fine. Right, there's one. 
let's get another one. What shall we have next? Um, love. This is nice. I don't know what it says exactly. Something to do with love. Let's stamp it and see if I can read it. Oh, love. Now, an intense feeling of deep affection. Isn't that lovely? Let's have another one. Somewhere or other. Can't have too much love, can we, really? Okay, right. That's that one. Put it at the back. Let's get another one. I think we will have this little butterfly here. We could have the dragonfly, I suppose. Let me get the... A little block for this. Will that fit on there? Just about, I think. Just. Okay. Let's put the butterfly on. And another one. It's like a bit of a puzzle isn't it really that's enough for that i can always come back and get them again i've left them on their block so that i can always add a little more um let's have this cog no this little one up here i think we'll have a tiny little thing let me i've got some do you remember years ago there used to be um some sets of stamps called cds and they were in a cd type case and some of them came with little box and oh, I presume that's where this came from. Don't really know. I think this would be easier to do this way. Might be enough of that one. Let's just pop, pop it back there. What else have we got? Uh, <laughs> we could do with... Should we try this big flower? Quite a gentle one because it's a line drawing rather than solid. Let's just see what this one looks like on, on the thing. I think I could do with a bit more type on it actually. Need a bit more of that because it looks a bit lost by itself. Let's try it down here. Off the edge. Uh, that'll do for that one for the minute. How are we doing? Um, I'll put some more of, uh, I want more open. Let's try this one here. What does this one say? Flower, I think. I think it says flower. Right. Look, it's gone straight through. Straight through my piece of napkin. If anybody's interested, I think it was from Ikea. Right, that can go there. This can go here. There we go. I only want bits of this anyway, so... Right, let's, let's leave it at that. Let me leave it at that. Just wipe this mat. Ink went straight through straight through the tissue. I suppose it is a kind of tissue really that the napkin's made of. I'll clean that up later properly with some essential oil. Right, well, let's leave that to dry a minute because I'm going to be adding that with um, a bit of this slap it on. Indigo blue slap it on. It's a, a matte medium. It says for tissue techniques, decoupage, paper collage, and other mixed media projects. It's lovely. Okay, 
Right, I've got that. I think what I'm going to do next is start to get some colour onto my panel. I'm going to turn this over so I do have an actual clean side. I'm going to wipe this off with my apron, just dry it. Okay, there we go. Right, now to get some colour on here, let's have some of this spun sugar, lovely pale pink. There's some water. Not too much. And I think I'm going to try and put this on. I've got a bit of, this is some um, bubble wrap, but I'm going to use the smooth side as a little kind of dabber thing. So put some of the colour onto my so I can get it kind of where I want it-ish. This is not watercolour card. It's just my regular card stuff. Oh, can you see? There's the vague hint. The vague hint of the bubbles. That's lovely, isn't it? Oh, I like that. That's oh, good oh. Right, let's try some Kitsch Flamingo as well. Let's try some of this. Much deeper, more blue sort of shade, really. Right, have a little bit of mm, that burst fine clear out of the way. Right, a bit of water. And we will use this again. I use the same spot, it doesn't matter. Right. I think that's kind of all I want, really. I'd like to put a bit of lost shadow on. So let me just put some lost shadow. I want some a, bit, a touch of the grey of this. If it's not dark enough, I'll grab maybe a bit of um, hickory smoke. Let's just wipe this off. Okay, let's put some um, lost shadow down. I don't know if it's going to do the job, but we'll see. Oh, mm, can hardly see it, can we? Right, let's just a drop of water. Okay, and my dabber, my bit of whatever it is, bubble wrap. Now I do need something a bit darker than that. So let's try a bit of hickory smoke. I've got some right here. Get some water. I hope this is going to go with that. Yes, it is, it's going to be fine. Just wondering if the, the grey was going to clash with the... Right, I think that's going to do for, for my colour. So I'll wipe this off and dry off my panel. Drying from both sides with a heat tool helps to keep it a little flatter. So the next thing I want to do is to use some of these stencils to put um, a few blotches on these two, the, the splatty sort of things. So I think it's going to be hickory smoke with a gentle touch. There's my hickory smoke blending brush. Let's just see. Just going to do it kind of lightly. I like it going down this way. Just have to watch out for the other bits that I don't want on. I don't want to go into the where the butterfly is. That's okay. Let's do this one up here. I have to watch out for this butterfly actually. Okay. Um, 
before I go any further, I think I'll do some um, stenciling. And I'm going to use my homemade em um, embossing paste. And when I went to it this morning, it had, it had gone really rather thick. And <laughs> I've added some more glue, more white glue to it. And now I think it's a trifle too runny. So I'm just going to add just a little more talcum powder, right? That should be plenty, says she hopefully. I thought I was being clever getting it, but it did re reconstitute beautifully, absolutely beautifully. But uh, it was too thick to use, so I added a drop of water. I thought well, it's not enough, it's not shiny enough. And uh, so then I added some more um, white glue and then it was too runny. So I hope this is going to be OK. Right, here we go. Here's my stencil and I'm going to put it, um, I think I'll do it down this way. I'm not going to do the whole thing, but just I, I just want to sort of a, a trail of stenciling. Let's just get some on my knife. Okay. There we go. Put the lid back on. That's been mixed for ages. Absolutely ages. Oh, look at that. I do love a bit of embossing paste. I'm going to have to give this a wipe because we don't want it drying and damaging the stencil. Good idea is just to have a pot of um, water in your craft room so that you can just drop your stencils into it until such time as you can take them away and clean them properly. Okay, now I want to do some adding of my sheet that I made here to start with. So let's have a look and see which bit we want to put on where. Maybe you should have put this on before the stenciling really, but we, we'll see. So I can tell which side is the right side, which is the side I stamped on because of the writing. Uh, yeah, I can see which which is the right way up. So, what would I like to put? I think I might like to put um, this little bit here, with that bit of flower there. So, let me just outline with water the bit I want. There we go. Right. Now that bit should come away. There we go. Take a bit more off. I don't want the cut lines. I'd rather have ripped lines than cut lines. Okay, so that can go into this corner, I think. It's so thin, I'm not going to put any medium underneath it on the wrong side of it. I'm just going to put some medium over it. Oh, let's just see. My embossing paste, my homemade embossing paste, I will put the, a link to the recipe um, in the description below. So um, if you want to make some, you can. And if you don't get on well with talcum powder, you can use cornstarch, corn flour instead if you want to. Oops, Daisy, let me just... What I will do, actually, is put just a little bit on the page. I don't want to try and do it on this because it's it's really fragile, this one. The Tim Holtz paper is far more substantial and you can actually glue both sides. But um, if you're using your own tissue paper or, a, like in this case, napkins, then, you know, just on the top is sufficient, really. Right, there's that one. It kind of, the paper itself has just kind of disappeared. 
It's amazing, isn't it? Let's have a bit more. Shall we have a butterfly? Shall we have one of these butterflies? Let's have this chap here. Don't need it very wet. There we go. It just tears around the, where the, where you've put the water. So clever. Look at that. It's lovely, isn't it? Could go with that up there. So what I'm going to do again is, is put a bit of this on the card base itself, underneath it. It's just so fragile. Gosh, I love that. I really love that. Okay, now we are. Whoops. Let me move it over just a tad. Oh, there's a little fly here. Goodness. Sound like Mr. Trump, don't I? Dreadful man. Oh, dear. Now, I want to have the typewriter on here, down in this corner here, and I think I've got so much going on that probably I'm going to need to draw, uh, stamp it, and then cut it out and stick it, uh, stick it on. And I may have to change my mind because it may be too big. So now, what all I'm doing is going over the whole surface with the matte medium, with the slap it on, because I don't want bits of the card to look kind of odd. So I may need to get the drop more. I used to be absolutely scared to death of uh, mixed media. I went on a retreat with Endigo Blue. I don't know, was it last year? It might have been the year before now, I can't remember. And I was actually in trepidation, wondering. I thought, I, you know, I'd never manage it. I didn't know what I was doing. But, you know, Kay went through the processes. So, you know, stage by stage, absolutely brilliantly. And I had a wonderful time. And I'm going on another one in September. Oh, can't wait. Now, is this going to work or is this not going to work? I'm going to cover that up if I do that, aren't I? Uh, my idea has gone a bit pear-shaped, really. I think what I probably ought to do is try and find a die cut to go on there. That's not quite so... That is a bit large, isn't it, now? So I'm looking through. That's, that, I think that's going to confuse the issue. Um, instead of the typewriter, maybe I will do this very large butterfly... What can I do with this? What could I do? Could I stamp that on there? I think I'm going to try. I think I'm going to try and stamp it on. Oh dear, scary. Or what? Um, I want it different from these. Perhaps I'll stamp it and, and, and then cut it out. Let me stamp it onto a bit of scrap. If I can find a bit. Here's a bit of scrap. That's large enough, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Let me stamp it with this because I want it deep, I want it to show. Right. Mm. I don't know if this is a good idea or not, really. Let's keep looking at that to, to try and decide. 
Okay. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Right, I'm going to cut this out, so I'll whiz it up so that you don't have to wait forever. So I'll just cut it. Oh, it's lovely. Look at that. Right, here I go. It's lovely, isn't it? That is super. Right. I think I'm wondering whether to put some colour on it, but I'm, I'm, I think I'm persuading myself not to because I think the colour will detract from the, the actual whiteness of that. So that needs to come up and I need a sentiment. I definitely need a sentiment somewhere. So, there's, oh, the have, there's a happy birthday there. Let's have a happy birthday. Let's do that one. Okay, happy birthday. Let's stamp this onto here. Haven't used these stamps before. I may have to do it a couple of times. I just thought it was a fabulous, fabulous set. again. I think I pressed a bit too hard for that one. Let's try up here. I think it's supposed to be kind of a bit kind of randomy, isn't it, really? So, I think I will die cut that. Um... I'll just cut this out, put a few more bits there for later. Right, start on one end. I did, I did a short about this the other day. How to alter your die cut. So I, I didn't know if I was lengthening or shortening at the time, I don't remember. I think it might have been lengthening actually, but shortening is very similar, except you move the die in instead of moving it out. Right. Now you see I've cut one way and stopped and I'm going to put it around the other end this way making sure those two are in the tram lines and cut the other end so we just get a, a sentiment that's just the shape we want. Right, there's my sentiment. Maybe there. So I will tidy all my rubbish out of the way, remove all the stamps from their blocks, put them carefully back into the sheet, the carrier sheet. It's not what I intended at all, actually, but I do quite like it. It's still quite wet. I think I may have to do a bunch more drying. Um, and then I will mount it onto its card whether I put something behind or not, I don't know. I'm just wondering if I need any more. Um, what does that say? You're just my type. Oh, I say. Just a note to say hello. Clever, cl clever cogs. That's clever, isn't it? Congratulations. There's a happy birthday. What does this one say? There are not enough words to say how much I love you. Oh, isn't that lovely? Friend. What does a friend have to say? to take this off to read that it's it looks double friend noun a person with whom one has a bond of mutual affection typically one exclusive of sexual or family relations well there you go wonderful i've got a lot of friends and i'm very very grateful for them all you're included so i will mount this i will put the picture on the end of the video once it's all dry and uh 
I hope you've had a bit of fun. I may put a bit of twinkle on. The... I'm always doing it. Let me just let me try a bit. Oh. Oh yes. This is glitter gloss from Nuvo. Isn't that sweet? Just a bit of twinkle. I'll, I'll pop that onto some foam tape, I think, but I don't want to do it yet because the base isn't dry. So there we go. There's another one. Thank you, Lou, for putting together such a wonderful bunch of, of stamps and, uh, and stencils. I think they're absolutely fabulous. So join me again and I'll see you then.